We will go around this field clockwise. And then do the middle. So yeah, here you can see this field nitrogen level is green. Canola needs a lot of nitrogen. We are starting, going to start chewing up the fertilizer in these tanks. And now one of the ways to make our new field a little bit cheaper for the coming year would be to put soybeans on it. We can still use a regular header. But soy, soybeans don't need nitrogen. So that might be the plan. Right, so like, and and all, because of the the crop map that we're running or the the crop calendar that we're running we can pretty much plant anything in the spring. Um, we can only plant winter crops at this time of year, which is hence why barley here, or canola this year. Because those can be planted for the winter, so that's what we did. But there's no, there's no real concern. Um, the current crop calendar does not provide us with any opportunity to get two crops in one year. At least not this crop calendar. On Oakfield Farm we did manage um, if you planted barley and uh, And harvest if you planted barley in the first month you could plant it harvested it in the first month you could harvest you could then plant corn and harvest that before it withered at the end of the year so we did manage that for one year I need I needed some I can't remember why um, I needed to forage some corn for silage, so we did that. And uh, one of the problems I did find was using a forage harvester on corn where the header is capable of dealing with more than just corn. Um, the grass at the edge of the field can interfere with the operation of the harvester and you end up with the harvester destroying the crop and not being able to fill the trailer. Yes. I think that's probably the one gripe I would have with Maypole is the pathing of um, workers for delivery is not optimized and so actually getting equipment from one yard to another is difficult because you have to do it manually. Obviously with Follow Me, um, it's, there's ways around it. Okay, let's go GPS again. But also I'm taking your probably on an Xbox. So you don't have scripts, so you can't use Follow Me. And as I said, the, uh, the pathing is not great. Now what you can do is let's say I wanted to deliver stuff to this yard. I know there is a, a path that runs 
next to this cell point. So I can just tell a worker to drive from the store. Usually I have to put it in the driveway and tell it to drive to here facing this way or no, drive to here facing field 50 and the worker will drive it to here and then I can just pick it up and move it into the yard. But yeah, initial farm setup, especially on stuff from scratch or um, what is it? Um, farm manager mode. It can take a while to set things up. That said, I generally don't do a massive setup. Um, the first thing I do on a farm is um, decide what tractor I want and that's usually my uh, my starting goal is let's get a tractor and buy some land and then figure out what I'm going to do as the first thing so if the first thing is I need to um, harvest the field I just bought I'll either buy or lease a harvester I'll buy a tractor I'll buy a trailer and I'll harvest the field and then once I've dealt with that sort of what's the next thing I want to do on this field I want to um, cultivate it as an example okay I need to go to the store I'll buy a cultivator I'll bring it back Right, yeah, and and even uh, even when I play on simple mode, yeah, uh, start starting farmer. What I tend to do with that is I'll sell some of the equipment because I want to play with equipment I want to play with. I don't necessarily want to play with equipment that the guy who made the map thinks I should would be good for me to play with. <coughs> There's usually some something that I really don't want and other things that it would be nice if I had this other thing instead of that so yeah yeah a lot a lot of um, oops a lot of um, what is it starting farmer mode um, you get three tractors well, I don't need three tractors so I'm gonna sell probably all three and buy one that works nicely for why is this tractor green I just noticed that this tractor is supposed to be black that got reset when we uh, when we installed the GPS oh that's annoying well we'll fix that and I also noticed we are rapidly running out of fertilizer on this field primarily because again this field is chewing up fertilizer because it's such bad condition I was going to jump out and look at that so. no just don't do that back up a little ways See, I'm still only getting 92% expected yield here. Oh no. We're down about 10% on the yield, and I don't know why. So, again, it's the numbers game. What are we deficient in? That I haven't figured. Huh. Right, yeah. Yeah, because I'm going cows, I'm I'm going cows, I'm making them make uh 
uh, manure. But, um, oh, that's too high. That might have been too high, but it looks like we didn't miss anything. So yeah, I'm planning to use manure on our little um, greenhouse garden area to boost production. Um, so that's why we loaded straw in. I don't expect to see straw today because we only loaded it today. And again, surmising from how the game seems to work, it determines food usage milk production wool production for the for the current day at midnight so you have to go through midnight for everything possibly the direct drill and that might be a thing that might be what it is I don't know, I'm commonly saying probably at this stage of the game the most important thing we can do is yield. And so I kind of do want to make sure that the yield is as good as it can be before we, before we start getting fancy with all of the uh, the environmental score stuff. But then again, that said, we are out. Well, that's a little bit annoying. So we were so close to the end there. So pH is bad here. I mean, even this is 80%, 89%. So that's 10% down. This field here. Uh, oh, it's in a harvested state. So until it starts growing. Oh, we just harvested that. Yes, okay. So this one we're going to harvest and then we're going to tear up. That's the plan there. Don't think I need a significant amount of uh, fertilizer here, so we'll do what we can. And we won't see a readout on this field for expected yield until we actually get on the field or the field starts growing. I say. Okay, we will load just the front tank and probably not all the way. should be more than enough yeah I'm gonna guess we didn't roll we did we did mulch because I have um, my mower will mulch I'm okay at the, at the moment. I think we're probably okay. The deal is, is that um, yeah, we're getting good income from the silage that we're producing. We're not using significant amounts of it. I don't actually know where the uh, where the fertilizer ended up I'm hoping it went, ended up in the front tank uh, can't see back tank definitely looks empty Get. 
Yes. We'll take a look at that as soon as we get back in the yard. So as I said, we started off with um, field 50, 55 and this yard, which included that house, which is that house there. There's hedge missing at the back of my house. Well done, I just noticed that. <laughs> okay, that is in part because of the new release of this map. Um, didn't need a new game save, which is good because I wasn't going to play a year and a half in a week. But it appears that there are hedges that move I'm assuming everything has a um, an object identifier so each building has an object identifier once it's placed on a map each hedge each tree etc etc and the work we did was might as well start our, our land tours here So I took out this hedge and I think that tree so that you can get a harvester in here and maneuver it around a bit. This hedge I never touched but um, it didn't, it vanished when I reset the map. This hedge all the way down to where the fence is stops, so around here somewhere, I took all that down and it's it's come back again same again on this side hedge taken down put in a fence but then this hedge here is completely missing so the house I did this this is where I sleep I added a uh, farmyard houses patch or mod which includes a doormat the doormat is my sleep trigger because this house does not have one you know I could probably take these hedges down um, I think I can jump the fence when I don't have the Chainsaw turned on. So somewhere in here. Right there is a. There we go. And I have a script, the lumberjack mod, which helps with destroying trees and doing that. So now that that fence stops at that hedge that hedge is completely gone so that's how I set up this yard originally um, oh, it looks like the, the hedge is inside the bounds of so lumberjack mod again is a script but as I said, all you need to do is chop down these handy logs and uh, there we go. And grind the stumps, and you can use in game stuff for that. You don't have to. Uh, just like to make sure things are cleaned up anyway okay so that's what I did and then I placed uh, uh, metal railings and part of the reason for that is I can't see what's coming down the road with the hedge there the hedge does wrap around not gonna worry about taking that hedge out anymore okay turn off GPS now uh, 
growth stage on this is early so you can drive on it with any tyres. Um, this tractor is fitted with mediums. So as again, as I said, these two fields are new purchases. I plan to uh, put crops in that one, leave that one as grass for the cows that we will eventually have tons of. I chopped her down this hedgerow and I think one or two trees behind it. So we can now access that field from our yard without having to worry about traffic. Um, oh, also, um, you will notice there was a little lamp on a stick in that yard that our house is on. And everywhere has these lamps, or everywhere you see one of these lamps, you can take a chainsaw to it. If I chop this lamp down it will make all of these walls and gates disappear around this pasture so the cows become an open pasture. Um, the house has one as well so if you don't like the house you can chop down the lamp that looks like that in the yard where the house is and it goes away. I'm not going to do it because I want to keep it. So anyway, cow shed as placed on this yard and it has the robot feeder. So great. And it will hold 700 cows. We have 15 at the moment. Uh, this is a liquid fertilizer tank. It will store liquid fertilizer. So let's go over to the tractor and empty it now. Okay, let's go over to the tractor and wrap ourselves around the tree. Because that's fun and games. So just drive up to it, uh, select the bucket that has the stuff in it, and hit the unload button, it will unload into it. So if you still want the realism of going out, fetching your IBCs and coming back and emptying them into whatever you can do that. Um, this has only liquid fertilizer and you can purchase it. So I could purchase up to I'm gonna guess 175,000 liters so this last one is to top it off 100,000, 50,000, 10,000 etc. Same for the fuel tank I have knocked down the shed that was next to the fuel tank and replaced it with a maintenance bay. Yes, we do have the Vermeer pack, so I bought that. I wasn't going to, but then I did. Because it's the cheapest shredder. Um, everything else here is as is. You've got a bunker silo for silage, which I store my silage in even though it's not produce there. This is a seed thing, works exactly the same as the liquid fertilizer. I can unload seed into it, I can buy more direct. Farm silo works as standard. Um, this is a solid fertilizer tank and works exactly the same way. I can load it with 60,000, which I believe is top up. Um, this is the pig, pig shed. Okay, there are two barns here facing that way and that way respectively. I chopped them down and I've replaced them with a open air garden, which is covered in plastic during the winter, which is kind of nice. Uh, currently producing tomatoes, and the rules of my game, you have to sell your perishables at least once a month. So we sold them in August. We're accumulating for September. Standard shed, two other standard, three or three standard sheds. Two sheds at the end here, which do form part of the back wall of the, the pig enclosure. So if you want to delete those sheds, you're probably going to build a hedgerow or 
um, put a fence in so that the pigs don't escape. Escape in quotes. Um, again, here, pig enclosure. Somewhere in here, there should be one of those um, strange light poles. Oh, right there. So, no, that's not a strange light pole. Hmm. Well, there should be a strange light pole in this area, which allows me to chop it down so that the walls disappear. We'll walk around the edge just to see. This version of the map has removed some of the trees that were along the edge of fields so that you don't get your harvester stuck in them. I'm not seeing the light for this. We have deers in our pig enclosure. Our pig enclosure also takes about 700 animals. There's actually a pole there that you can chop down to make the hedge disappear. Anyway, you can, you can delete the, uh, the buildings, obviously, because I did for there. But I can delete that. I don't know. I thought there was... Uh, that one there lets me rotate. But because the sheds are so big on this map, I'm not planning to delete them. Okay, yeah, and you can do that. That's fine. Um, there's a manure pit here. Actually, I think, are we done here? I think we might be done. Oh, we need to uh, unload the tractor. So let's do that. Or just turn the engine off, why not? When I started playing, there wasn't a water source on the f on the farm, so I did add that hose to the yard. 